The following is a production of the Dallas Genealogical Society. For more information, please visit our website at www.dallasgenealogy.org. All right, good morning. Happy New Year, everybody. It's a, it's a fun time of the year, right? We're thinking about... I don't know, all those resolutions that we might make, maybe some genealogical resolutions, some trips planned. Anybody uh, going to start over on their trees, start from scratch? No. Big, bold goals. <laughs> well, thank you for being here. Um, I do want to make a special welcome to the guests that came. Looks like we had a, a good number of, of guests, so thank you for coming. We'll talk a little. Nine. Whoa. Woo. All right. So hopefully you had a chance to talk to some of the, the, uh, the volunteers and the board folks on the way in. If not, just look for somebody with one of these. If you find uh, you have any questions, there we go. Or you want to talk a little bit about the society. We'd love, to, we'd love to talk. But thanks for coming. Okay. So for, for the new members, what we do is we spend a few minutes at the front of the meeting. We have a little bit of business. Um, and then we, uh, as soon as that's over, we do the presentation. Okay, so the first order of business um, is our meeting minutes. So every month, um, this business part of the, meet, of the, of the session, we capture. Uh, they were posted on the door on the way in. Uh, they're on the website. Are there any questions, comments, corrections? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's the <laughs> yeah. It's it's the April meeting on the yellow sheet. Says what was the date? Did we move that for some reason, Lisa? Do you know? The sixth is correct. But I think it, maybe that was one from last year. Because that's the last year. They'll say it's the second day, but it is true that the first day is the correct. Okay. That's the first time to type that out, I can only apologize. So it is on the sixth, yes. The meeting is on the sixth. Perfect. No, no, that's great. Thanks for the clarification, for the question, and the clarification. Okay, if there's no uh, questions or corrections on the minutes, we will file those. Um, we will have to, let me just do a double check here. Um, I'm gonna skip. Well, actually, um, we do have quorum, uh, as well as guests, so thanks for, for coming and thanks to our guests. We're gonna skip the treasurer's report for now. We'll see if, uh, uh, Travis makes it in. I think he was hung up. So, yeah, Travis. <laughs> Travis is here this morning. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay. Um, <clears throat> for the month of December, uh, the society had receipts of two thousand six hundred four dollars. And we had expenditures of $9,028 with an ending balance in the bank of $148,594. Uh, those of you that were at the awards banquet know that $7,500 of those expenditures was paid to the Friends of the Dallas Public Library to uh, fund the next five years of the um, um, a scholarship fund for the library. Any questions? Okay, thank you. Thanks, Travis. If there are no questions or comments or corrections, we will file those for audit. Okay. So I do want to talk a, a few minutes about the luncheon. Um, we do, the society does meetings like this 
really at the beginning of the year, we take a few months off in the summer and then pick it up in the fall. And our December uh, time to meet is a luncheon. It's a time to celebrate, uh, have some great food, great company, and recognize a few individuals for outstanding contributions. Um, so we'll just do a, a brief recap. And uh, Travis just mentioned the, the Lloyd Boxtrap Scholarship. Uh, this is, this is uh, honoring Lloyd and all he's done for, uh, for genealogy and for, for us as a society and a library. Um, and as Travis mentioned, um, we, we uh, wrote a check for $7,500 to sponsor or to, to uh, set up the next five years of the scholarship. And the scholarship is for the employees in the gene genealogical section of the library. Um, and we, we're going to sponsor up to $1,500 to attend either the Institute of Genealogical and Historical Research or the Texas Institute of Genealogy Research every year. Um, and um, and who's, who's pictured here is Mary Wolanski. She's the director of the Friends of the Public Library. Uh, and they're gonna, we're partnering with them and they're going to administer the funds and working with the city to, to, make this, uh, to make this work. So we're really excited about this. Um, Stephanie indicated that the staff was, was, was super excited as well. So uh, we're happy to be able to do this. So I do want to just, just recognize um, a few uh, of the awards that we did. Um, and you can see them listed here. We have the Renee Jackson Smith Award that went to Ken Johnston. Uh, the Award of Merit went to Gloria Goodwin. The Heritage Preservation Award uh, really went to the McCowan Funeral Home team, uh, as well as the African American uh, Special Interest Group, for all the work that's gone on in, in Phase Two of their of their efforts. Volunteer of the Year was Lisa Ross. The uh, Lloyd Dewitt Boxtruck Distinguished Service Award went to Kelvin Myers, and the President Special Award uh, went to Tony Hansen. So, let's uh, let's give those folks just a quick round of applause. Right. Tony, you want to come up and talk about one more thing that, that we typically do for the library? So we have a long history of supporting the genealogy section of the Dallas Public Library, and over the years we've made you know, many gifts, and this year was no exception, although a little more special, I think. Uh, we did purchase, on behalf of the genealogy section, a very um, capable book scanner. It is uh, a very high capacity, high quality, uh, book scanner. In fact, it's identical to the one that Fame and Search already has up and running on the eighth floor right now. And there's apparently quite a backlog of materials that the library would like to have digitized so that they can make them publicly available on their servers. We have a fair amount of stuff that we would like to digitize and a part of the plan also is that we will use that uh, to conduct kind of, you know, bring your family heirlooms into the library type day so that we can digitize things for our members and for the general public as well. So it is in the building, it has been delivered, and it is going to be unpackaged and installed uh, in about a week or so. And it will join the one that Family Search has up in the room, <coughs> which is also something that the Dallas Genealogical Society funded earlier this year. So it's, it's a very significant financial contribution, uh, and we're very proud and very grateful to you know, the many people who have supported us through their membership, through attending our seminars, and through the contributions to be able to make a significant contribution to the infrastructure of the Dallas Public Library. So well done us. It's a great thing to be able to stand here and say we've done it. So thank you. All right, thank you. Okay, one other, this is the time of year where we, we kick off one other piece of business and that's our nominating committee. We do, uh, we mention it here um, and ask folks to think about participating uh, in, this, in this committee. This is a really important part of, of this society. What the nominating committee does is uh, identify a, a candidate for president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer that will be elected uh, later in the spring. Um, and what we need, we need two people from the board and three members at large, which uh, is a lot of the folks in this room right here. Um, it's, the, the intent is to really try to find people and match their skills um, and their availability and their talents to these positions that we have. Uh, it's an important part of how we really keep the society strong, how we keep the society going. Um, and the more participation we have here, you know, the stronger we're going to be in the future. So today, I'm, I'm mentioning this. 
will actually elect folks next month at the February meeting. Um, the, uh, the bottom bullet there, the committee's work is to nominate a member in good standing for each position, report its nominations uh, to the general, to this meeting in April, and then we do the election in May. Any questions on that? Okay. Everybody get what I'm asking for? <laughs> Do you already know who the two members of the board are on the committee? Uh, not yet. We'll, we'll talk about that in the board meeting after this. Um, okay. Just wanted a long enough awkward pause so everybody has a chance to think about it. We'll reach out to some folks to, to help make sure we, uh, we do a really great job here. Okay, I'd like to call up our VP, Jim Thornhill. Jim? Thank you, Todd. Oh, okay. Coming to you this next year is going to be three awesome seminars. If I can make this thing, okay. Oops. <laughs> Obviously, I don't have the, the secret to the computer. Oh, should I be using the mouse? <laughs> no, no. You uh, you can use, oops. Let's use the arrow though. Oh, okay. Yep. Sorry about that. We have three great speakers coming this year. One of them, the one, first one will be in April, April 13th, will be Michael Lacapo, who's returning again. He was here with us in 2015. Judy Russell will be on August 3rd, the legal genealogist, and Jen Baldwin will be here on October the 12th. Um, and they're gonna talk about methodology. Judy will talk about courthouse research, and Jen will talk about finding unique records in places you wouldn't ordinarily expect to find them. Michael will be here April 13th. He's our first seminar. Um, his topics will be re reconstructing your family tree, how to to go through your family tree and make sure that you have the proper support and everything and make sure everything you have is correct. Finding the origin of your German ancestors. Uh, Germany can be a pretty challenging country if you just know they came from Germany. Well, that's a lot of area. It was not a, a country for a long time. It was a Germanic area with a lot of different countries, a lot of different areas. So he's gonna help us out with that. Um, she came from nowhere this is an example of you know, I have an ancestor who, Captain Kurt, flew by with the Enterprise and just kind of beamed them down to Jasper <laughs> County, and then he took off back to the 23rd century. Um, I have no idea where they came from, so he's going to help us figure that out. And then incorporating social history into your research, which for me is a big, a big passion for me. Uh, need for 2019, the board last year has approved a student admission price of $50. So if you have any uh, students, especially history students, that you think might be interested in one of our seminars, we're gonna give them a little break for that. And then we need you to help us out with our hospitality. Um, this is something that for us, that, it's an important job. It's not a hard job at all, but it's something that um, in, in the board, the other board members have been taking care of this so far, but it tends to slip through the cracks because we're all, busy doing our own little thing, and then all of a sudden, a week before, somebody thinks, well, do we have anybody doing hospitality? So we really need someone to help us out with hospitality. Hospitality is not having to cook anything. You do not have to spend Friday in the kitchen cooking for the meeting on Saturday. You do not have to be at every meeting. Just because you're a hospitality director does not mean you have to always be here. It just means you need to be the person that's cognizant that there's a meeting coming up when you do something for hospitality, someone needs to take care of it. You do not have to attend the board meetings if you don't want to. If you want to, you're more than welcome, but you don't have to do that. You don't have to spend hours at the store. We have two or three board members that have Costco memberships. I know I go by Costco two or three times a week. Um, so dropping by Costco to pick up supplies is no big deal. So don't feel like you have to go to the mall every week or something. And you don't have to spend your own money. The society pays for all the snacks, and usually the people that use the hospitality table pay for it because they give donations. So it's pretty much a self sustaining um, it, uh, enterprise. And there's our little hospitality table. Nothing fancy, 
So I don't want anybody to be intimidated and think I can't take this on because it's really, I think Lisa and I set it up today in about 20 or 30 minutes, so it's not a hard thing to do. So I would encourage you, please, to make sure this happens for us. And that's all I have. Jim? Yes? Can you still sign up on the website for a month for hospitality? Yes, okay. you can. Yes, yes, you can. You, you go to um, volunteer or get involved, and then you slide down there, and there's a sign-up sheet for hospitality. You're welcome. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. You told us what we don't have to do. What do we have to do? <laughs> All we need is someone that's going to have have the hospitality on their radar. Um, that then that's basically it. We you know if you we would. Yeah, come, come 30 minutes early and set up. There's a, the coffee takes longer. There's always someone here early to, to start the coffee. So you just have to show up 30 minutes early and set up if you're not going to be here. No, uh, if I'm going to be here, I'm going to come and set up the table to make sure there's coffee and be here and I'll, I'll set up. Yeah, and if, if you're not going to be here, you, you get in touch with our hospital, with our volunteer director and ask her, who can I get to help me out with the hospitality table? And... That's all it is to it, and then we'll take care of it from there. We just the big thing for us is is having someone that has that on their mind. I mean, this last week I was planning three seminars, and I just all of a sudden remembered hospitality. Who's doing that? So we just need someone that's going to keep that, keep aware of that, and be responsible for making sure that something happens that week. Jim? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. <laughs> you will be endeared. They'll, they will meet you at the door. Okay. If you want to look up something, this hospitality is a good way to get to Yes. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thanks, Jim. Did we have a volunteer? <laughs> Throwing that out there. Okay. Um, one of the other things that the society does, we do these meetings, we do the seminars that Jim just talked about. We also have a, a bunch of special interest groups and they're listed here, they're on the website. You can go to the calendar and see exactly when and where they are. Um, but you can see we have a, a bunch of different topics, technology-based, uh, DNA, you know, different ethnicities, brown bag, uh, which is uh, kind of an interesting topic. And where is our, do we have a, do you want to come up and just talk a little bit about what brown bag is going to look like in 2019? Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, as you can see, I'm not a brown bag. <laughs> um, uh, basically, what we uh, f try to focus on is taking your research an another step further to, um, it's one thing to find a deed, for example, it's another thing to understand what is going on when the deed is written and how, you know, how that came to be. Um, last year we did women and property. This year we're, we're using a study book called Dividing the Land that's listed on the website. And before I go any further, the meeting has changed from the 26th to the 19th, and I'll, I'll have that uh, sent to the uh, newsletter person, but um, in dividing the, what what we're doing this in studying this book is um, looking at how our ancestors got their land, and it's never exactly what you imagine that it's going to be. Uh, the The book starts in New England, then we're going to go to the Mid Atlantic, and then to the South. And the other thing we're looking at is how uh, different areas uh, allocated the land. And again, it's not ever what you think. Uh, for example, we learned last time in New England, there were committees that made a decision about how much land someone was given when they showed up and you know where that land was uh, going to be in the settlement, uh, which was something new to me. So I invite anyone who's interested to come and join us. We meet on Saturdays and um, you learn a lot. 
So thank you. Yes. What was the name of the book again? It's called Dividing the Land. Yes. And where do you meet? We meet on the eighth floor in the McDermott room. Yes, on Saturdays. That's usually always a Saturday. And as I said, this time, um, in, it'll be the 19th instead of the 26th, and the meeting starts at 1030. So please, please come. I think you'll enjoy it. Yes. My, I'm sorry? My name is Lamora. Lamora Hyder. Thank you. Uh-huh. Yes. Is it possible to buy a couple of extra copies of that book and put them in the library so they can be taken out and home? which means people at the Audelia Branch Library could ask to have it brought there and they could use to join your group? I'm not a library specialist or, or a collections person. All, all you got to do is ask. Oh, uh, oh, I see. Okay, yes, ask. Uh, well, when we... When we looked at the book, or when we made the decision to use this book to study for the year, uh, we also explore affordable ways for you to purchase it used, which is how I got my copy, um, which was a retired library book. Uh, so yeah, that's an excellent suggestion, and I'll, I'll contact the librarian and see if that can happen. Yes, ma'am. Who's the author? Oh, I don't know offhand. I'm really sorry. The book was written in the 90s. Um, you can Google it, yeah. You can Google it. It's, it's on the web. It's under. The, it's under I think it's on the our website. Yeah, uh, yeah the listing. But um, the other thing too, I would want to point out is that we, in looking at, we were looking at New England deeds, and it was, again, this is something I didn't know. Uh, a deed was actually used as a will. There's no copy of a will, but this deed was very detailed about who was getting what in the family. So that's you know. A, it's just another way of looking at, as I said, it's one thing to amass material that you collect in your research. It's a whole other thing to like understand what is actually going on. So come join us. Thank you. And thank you for the time. <laughs>